some questions, but we want to make sure that you give staff the, uh, your contact information if you do have items for follow up. You'll be invited to speak in the order that you have signed up. And again, I will be going back and forth between those joining virtually and in person and ask the clerk to alert me if somebody is missing their command. And uh, for those of you joining virtually, if you would press star nine or use the raise hand function in Teams for any signing in to let us know if you have a comment. But we will start with last one. Uh, please introduce yourself and you have one minute. Hi, I'm Wes Lund. Thanks for letting me know again. I'm uh, responding to these numerous tax increases that are being asked of us at multiple levels of government institutions, um, not just the state and federal level, but the tax increases at the county level, the city level, and in addition to that, the school board level. So I'm, I'm reminded of the first time I spoke on this microphone when I asked why my, uh, sorry, beautiful technical difficulties. I can fix this for you if you hire me, I swear to God. So, I can fix this. I have the tools. Okay, Scotty, gotta have 30 minutes. Um, what I'm here to, <laughs> I like to see you laugh, Brooke. So. What I'm talking about is the first time I spoke in this room was before the county commissioners when I told them that before returning from overseas life, I had searched for and purchased a house that I could afford. It was affordable housing for me. And then my property taxes were going up and they increased and they increased. And I said to then uh, the guy who was in charge of it, Mark Karofsky, I said, I'm gonna speak on the microphone and talk about it. And I came here and then one of his pleads from the back of the room started shouting out information about my family. Very odd. I did get the offer, I have the emails. I did get the offer of an apology I did get the offer of an apology for that outburst from the back of the room. And the guy was in his 20s, so I said, ah, I'll, let, I'll let it go, because you know, I remember when I was young too. But it had nothing to do with my property tax increase going on. But fast forward, I mean, my property taxes have gone up every year. And I don't quite see what I'm paying for. Especially in light of green energy, the buses we've now purchased, the batteries, again, from overseas, child labor notwithstanding. My issue about lithium pools, I've made quite clear in a variety of ways. I also just have to wonder, the management of our Rochester public transportation, air quotes, emphasize, public, paid for with taxpayer dollars, and yet, sold to a foreign equity company called EQT, based in Sweden. Hyper confused because I, I thought a lot of people were bad. But Swedish interests, EQT, is normally a chopping block company that sells off assets 1980s style. Think, uh, what was the movie with Michael Douglas? Uh, Wall Street, selling off the assets. But they turned around, instead they sold it to Transdev, a French company, Transdev, which is 34 to 40% owned by a German company called the Rethmann Group. The Rethmann family is one of the top 10 wealthiest families in Deutschland, in Germany. And they have the controlling operating interests of the Rochester Public Utilities. I'm hyper confused because I thought you know, colonizers are super duper bads around here. Maybe that's just the people who live here. By the way, I am more Native American Indian than uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren. I'm of the Algonquin group of the Abenaki clan. And I'm sorry if uh, some liberals are offended to me saying Native American Indian, I'm supposed to say First Peoples or whatever BIPOC term they come up with to label people. My time's up. Are you kidding me? Anyway, sorry, that, that was so much fun.